What happened to your foot? I don't know. You hurt your foot? What'd you do? I don't know. I can't put a sheet on it. You can't, did you take Tylenol? More Tylenol than I probably should have taken. It doesn't help? You think you broke it or fractured it? Might be. I don't know. It's pretty swollen. How's your foot? It's killing me. Is it worse or better when you first wake up? It's better, a little better than this morning. It is? But I'm still going to the doctor's because I can't walk up the hills. Well, they're just going to tell you to put in a cast. No, they're not going to tell me to put in a cast. That's all they're they're going to give rest. me something like a boot so I can actually walk. I have to walk. I have to do stuff. I can't just sit still. Hey guys, we're off to the emergency room. Heather cannot walk. I figured if I went there it would be quicker. I could go to the walk-in. I don't know how long of a wait it'll be. That's about it guys, we're just chilling out here. Sorry about the movement of the camera, it's probably bouncing all over the place. This is not hitting the windshield, like most most RVers, you can put a camera in the windshield, it's like bang, bang, king, 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 king. That's true. Taking the truck out to see if it still does that loud funky sound. So far I haven't heard it yet. sitting here and I can't move my arm because my elbow's killing me because when I got off the truck I put my hand down and twisted and that's my shifter arm so I'm gonna have to I can't I mean yeah I can float gears but I took the Tylenol it's killing me and we're on the way to go to the doctors for my foot so how much cool is that we're, we're on the way to the heart. ER to get an x-ray of her foot because she barely walked well, it's a walk-in a wa it's a walk-in clinic I didn't sleep very good last night. Oh, they, they can't hear you. They I didn't can't. sleep very good at all last night. She didn't sleep. Do you want another Tylenol? No, I can't take two Tylenols and drive a semi truck. Yes, you can. No, it's dangerous. One. So here we are, guys, walking in the park. Pull the GPS out of the truck. Don't want any theft, even though there's no theft around here, really. But I do it anyways. Make me makes me feel better. I got my switch. I had a bat. Uh, the switch for the solar went bad already. Can you believe that? I'm putting a switch in a new one. I don't know if it's better or what, but it's a flush mount switch. A, B, C, D, whatever. One, two, three. Go from here to the RV. And I'm taking out this one because this one failed on me. It's a cheap bolt switch, and I got a little bit more of an expensive bolt switch. So let me change that out and put the wires on this one and mount it somehow. I don't know. I'm just gonna get it done, you know. See if it works. And I'm going to replace this wire. This is 10 gauge right here. And this is 16 gauge. I'm going to get a uh, um, 12 gauge. Getting rid of this cord, I might use an RV 30 amp cord, which will transfer the power a lot better to the um, to the batteries. I just got to find a cord. I'm not, I want to spend $100 for a 12 gauge cord because I need 50 feet. I'm going to rewire everything. All it is is a bolt switch. And I use these solar panels on the top 200 watts. And I, can, I put the new switch in here that I can go from the truck or the RV when I hook the wire into here and to the back which is 10 gauge which I need a thicker cord but that that's on its way but I want to replace the switch because the switch was loose come to find out these terminals were loose I just had to screw them on so I don't know 
It's a little screwed up here too. I don't know what the heck is wrong. Why would that do that? I, I'm going to take this apart and see what's up with this switch. But at least I got a nice, more uh, higher quality switch and it's working. So it's charging the solar panels at about an amp and a half or two amps because I have all the lights on when I'm opening the door. So it'll top them off tonight and then ramp it right down to a float charge and I'll be happy. Two charge controllers, one in the truck and one in the RV. Switch back from use, utilizing the panels on the roof from the truck or the RV. Now it's just parked, so it's just charging its own four batteries on, on board. So That's it, guys. That's all I wanted to do. It took me two seconds. Well, 30 minutes. A little hands dirty, and that's about it. So Look at the insulation they put in these trucks. That's crazy, huh? On these doors. It's like all insulated. Volvo does a good job. I mean, it's old, but man, it's all aluminum. It's all aluminum. Aluminum and fiberglass. They don't like this. I can take this panel off and just paint it. And I can take these brackets off, paint it, and rinse this thing out. And you know, I clean it up. You know what I mean? I can paint all that. Just you know, spray paint it. And it's so heavy duty. It's all that needs to be done, really. Just it's good to work with a truck that is solid, that lasts forever, than an RV that was plastic, fantastic, falling apart, rotting, and just you know what I mean. So kind of happy about that. So it's on one, and we're just gonna. Shut it. I'm gonna get new handles here and paint these out too. Heather's got ice in her foot because it's swollen pretty bad. And um, so, what was the. Oh, look at this thing. Look at this thing just sitting there. This one's yawning. Now, what's the verdict on the. Um, this is the last end of the video. What's the verdict? It's just a really bad. Break? No break. A hairline fracture? She said she can't see if it's 100%. Did they do x-rays? Um, but it doesn't. So those don't always show up in the x-rays. So I'm just resting my foot. Can you please take that out of my face? Fred, stop. Come on. Is that better? Yes. Okay, you want to end the video? No. I want to go back to sleep because I was taking a nap, a rest. Fred. You guys, I'm very proud of you for liking, hit, hammering down the like button in our last video. See if we can do it one more time, and I'll stop bugging you. Just hammer down that like button. We appreciate it. We love you all. We work hard to do these videos. And I'll tell you what, tomorrow, Friday, we're going to do a live video. It's going to be, we're going to be live on the air at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you tune in at 7 o'clock on a Friday night. For those of you that don't go out and party on Friday nights and sit in your house or your RV and just chill out in air conditioning... Turn us on and uh, just go to our YouTube channel and we're gonna be we're gonna be saying it on Facebook too But go to our YouTube channel and it'll say live at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. That's at night p.m. Right? Or a.m. I get my a.m. p.m. p.m. at night 7 p.m. at night. We're live. So see ya hammer down that like button. Love you guys Like us and share us. You know you'll find us funny